The final away game of the season was a point about the right result. Um, I'd, I'd have to um, I'd have to look at everything in detail, but it felt like if we'd have lost the game, it'd have been a harsh result. Let's just say that I thought that we deserved at least a draw in the game. Thought we created a few opportunities. It was a game of very few opportunities, really. It was a more of a, like a tactical side of the game where both teams were were trying to feel each other out. Uh, we got in a few times. Probably would like to do more again when we're in the final third. But like I say, on the balance of things, I thought if we'd have lost the game, it'd have been harsh. Yeah, and your formation wise, you, you changed things around a little bit. It certainly changed in half time. I presume that was a, a tactical substitution with O'Connor came on for use. Yeah, we just felt we um, we needed a little bit more spark in the in the midfield. I thought um, thought Sam. We'll talk about him in a bit, but I thought Sam added that when he came on, and I thought uh, Leo Connor did as well, and credit to Flo as well. I thought that, thought that they added to us when they come on the pitch and just added a little bit more energy in the midfield in particular. So, like I say, that was the reason behind it really. Nothing to do with the performances of Reese or to JT and the Cook. Sometimes just certain games require different things. Harvey Saunders off with an injury before half time. Just talk about that first. That muscle injury. Yeah, um, it was. He's been feeling a little bit of tightness in his hamstring now for about four to four to five weeks. And he's been managing it, and today just uh, it was a little bit too much for him, and we just had to manage it. Really, it was wrong to just keep him going and keep pushing it. So, like I say, give Sam his opportunity, and again, fantastic for me. Yeah, as you say, enter Sam Taylor, and then of course you go a goal behind. I suppose a bit disappointed. There was one pass through the middle, and they got the opportunity. Yeah, it was a strange goal to concede really because it came from our, our clearance. They've misplaced the clearance that just ended up going through the middle of us, and and they end up scoring from us. But disappointing. But then we had to change things and and, and um, take a little bit more of a gamble, and we tweaked things on the pitch a little bit, which thought helped us. Brought Sam more central with Kane, and I mean I've mentioned Sam a, Sam a couple of times already, but what a fantastic story for him. He's worked so hard to get where he's got to, to come to our college program, and every time he's come on the pitch, he's never let us down. And one of the one of the biggest one of the biggest bits of credit I can give him is that he never lets you down with off the ball, his energy and his work rate and his desire to go and do the ugly side of the game, the competing and tracking back and for a striker and a striker's mentality, it's, it's fantastic for him. And I thought because of all that, he deserves his goal and what a goal it was. Yeah, I mean, it was a, it was a great move as well. I mean, I think Ethan Bristol did really well getting forward down the left-hand side, didn't he? he played the ball for, for Hawksley and then he plays a really good ball and got his head up, you know, and saw Sam and on that sweet left foot that we know he's got. Yeah, we, I've just mentioned in the changing room after the game is that we, we get in the final third quite a lot. It's just that final pass, and I said to Josh Oakes, the final pass at the end there was perfect for him. I said, if you don't execute that properly or he has to take a touch, you just put it somewhere where he can use that technique and finish it in one touch. And like I say, I think that was the difference was the final ball, and then it just allows Sam to finish it. So it's just that little bit we probably need to improve on in that final third, the last action. And you talked about giving Sam a bit more uh, game time you know, as the season came to a close, and it's a big, big moment for him isn't it I mean you know, your, your first senior goal and obviously something to build on for next season as well yeah I, I think with Sam and young players it's always the opportunity's got to be right it's got to be the right type of game for him and because you want him to be you want it to be a positive one for him because you, you want him to come off like thinking he's done well and that and like in the la he's, he's come on and then the last couple of games he's not come on never felt it was the right moment but today felt right for him and he's again he's been great and what a moment he'll never forget this his first professional goal Goals and the lads have been great with them in there. And again, I go back to the players is that we've never moaned or groaned about anything. We've got another injury and probably our first muscle injury we've had with um, Harvey. They don't moan and groan, they get on with it. The subs come off the bench and make an impact like Sam does and we trust it. And the, the, the lads are running on empty at the moment and they keep pushing it. And I think the reason they do that is because of the pride for each other and the club and, and the fans. And the fans again were unbelievable again today. Would we like to have won the game for them? Of course. But I think they can understand with, with the circumstances we're in, with the lack of um, players and the injuries. I think going a goal behind, I think they're, they're probably happy with the result. Like I say, I'm not going to accept a, a draw because I'm never like that. But like I say, circumstances taken into account, it's probably something that you take away and go, OK, it, was, it wasn't too bad. Yeah, and you say even with the equaliser, you were still pushing forward. I think Flo had a great run, didn't he, inside the penalty area, just didn't quite come off, really. Yeah, again, again, he comes on and does great for us. And it, like I've just mentioned before, it's just a final little pass in that area we get we seem to get into them areas a lot I mean if you look at stats and you go we haven't registered many shots I don't know what it's like in this game but there's so many games we get in them areas and it's just that final little bit of detail but but the lads are working hard on it and trying to improve it but if they keep having the desire and the mentality they, they will do that
and over 8,000 here today. I mean, I mean a, a great crowd, 500 plus Tranmere fans here as well. And I was just looking at the results there. I mean, Northampton final game of the season, they're not up yet, so that's going to be a real test, isn't it, for everybody next uh, next well, it's, it's a week on Monday now, isn't it? Yeah, funny enough, we had that conversation before the game, uh, me and Parky, and I said, I hope that they've got something to play for on the last game of the season. It makes it more of a real game and it challenges us a little bit. If it's if they've already been promoted and I, I call it playing like um, doesn't matter football for them, everything matters to us. The game can become a bit false, but at least they're at it, they're gonna be at it and the mentality is gonna be right, so it should look like a really good game of football and a good challenge for us and like it's one that we're, we're looking forward to. Long journey home and uh, will Sam be allowed a drink on the coach going home? Oh no drinking on the coach, we're professional athletes. Well I'm not <laughs> <laughs> but you know, we don't drink on the coach on the way home. I mean we, 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 I think things have changed over the, the years but the lads will surely have um, half a smile on the face let's just say we haven't got three points so they'll have, have allowed to have half a smile on the face and um, they'll, in, they'll half enjoy it let's just say please tell me you're interviewing Sam after, Sam after this yeah. I hope so. brilliant alright then enjoy <laughs>